Hi everyone, thank you for joining. If you're new here, that thumbnail is not me, it's Mr. T. Hopefully you knew that, but just thought that I would uh, make sure. If you found it funny, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, but we'll get straight into today's episode, which is a short episode really. I just wanna keep you guys in the loop with what is happening in the portfolio and the moves that I'm making as well. So over the last few days, I've been looking for where the best value is in the portfolio currently. And if you watched the portfolio update a few days ago, you'll know that portfolio has been doing quite well in a recent rally. The stock that is sticking out at the moment quite a lot is Sentimin, which is a gold mining stock. Sentimin have had a rough couple of months, to be honest, a rough two to three months, I would say. One is on the news of the Sakari mine having lower forecasts of gold production due to an issue they had um, in one of the mines having to, to close down for a period of time. More information with that you can find on my portfolio update, the 7600 update I believe it is. That goes a little bit more into depth about what happened there and I feel that sentiment in the last week or so with the rally as well, gold has gone the other way with the market rally and all the other stocks going up. Traditionally, you'd usually see gold go the other way, to be honest, um, in market rallies. It's used more as a hedge against the market. And when the market does rally, gold gets pulled out of a lot of um, funds and portfolios and put um, into other places. So it's expected. We've seen it with other gold stocks as well. So if we have a look at the iShares S&P gold producers down 10%. Kirkland Lake Gold down 17% last month. Barrett Gold down more or less 10% as well. So um, it's not just sentiment, there's quite a few other stocks now. The attraction with sentiment is that they're a dividend paying stock and they pay quite a high yield, especially now. 7.92% is showing here on Trading 212. I believe it is a little bit higher uh, currently at today's value. It's around about 8.4%, which I researched earlier sentiment is quite a solid company they've got good financials low debt as well and they've been in the portfolio since around about april may time i would say i'm seeing good value with the with them right now so i've been averaging into the stock i did have them at average price of around about one pound 60 one pound 70 so quite a lot of averaging down to be honest guys to to get to um, the value where it is now at £1.34 and at the moment currently there's around about £525 in, invested into the stock which is quite a high allocation compared to some of the other positions. It sits around about fourth or fifth I would say overall in the portfolio allocation wise which I didn't really want to have that much invested into sentiment to be honest but in the aspects of having it as a hedge um, in the portfolio, I don't mind it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's what I'm doing. Having a look through the portfolio um, currently today, as you can see, um, a lot of the stocks are in the green and, and doing quite well. So it's taking the best opportunity that I can find in the, the portfolio to gain a, the best return that we can currently. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. So why gold as well at the moment as we know different countries around the world are trying to save their their economy money's being printed especially in america or all over the world um to help out so inflation is something which i expect over the next few years and expect that people will hedge with gold and other things possibly bitcoin and cryptocurrency is something that um, is new which people might go into as well but it's just a it's a great opportunity i feel to to get into a, a good gold mining stock so yeah just letting you guys know keeping you guys in the loop with everything that's happening also yesterday we we received a massive free stock in astrazeneca um which is an 83 pound stock guys so thank you for whoever that was to claim a free stock, um, I'll just go through this with you just in case you haven't claimed one yet and can see how easy it is to do so if you do have the Trading212 platform. 
So down the bottom right hand side of the app, you'll see the three lines there, which will take you into the menu. If you go to use promo code, type in this promo code. And press apply code. I'll put this code down at the description as well, just so that you can see it there if you haven't noted it down. And that would give you a free share and myself a free share as well. So can't lose hopefully you get something like AstraZeneca as well and um, that went straight into sentiment to be honest got sold straight away so yeah uh, quite handy so yeah why not so one thing I'll just go over guys and just show you we'll just go into an article now guys which is on the market insider Goldman Sachs this was November 17th a few days ago Goldman Sachs are predicting that they expect gold will rise by around about 22% next year as investors look to hedge against inflation so so analysts in Goldman Sachs are saying that gold prices will break out of a tight trading range in 2021 as inflation worries stoke demand the bank hold $2,300 per ounce price target for the precious metal, implying a 22% rally from current levels. So yeah, guys, um, just backing up what I feel currently. Yeah, once again, guys, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. Look across the board, not just at sentiment and keeping you guys in a loop with what I'm doing in a portfolio in as real time as possible so that you can make an informed decision and might um, give you a little bit of food for thought if you're struggling to find value or, or looking around where you want to make your next investment. So thanks for joining guys. Please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for everyone that's subscribed so far. It means the world and um, hopefully get to speak to a few of you soon either over Instagram or Twitter. So yeah, thanks for joining. Stay safe. See you soon.